we're actually looking at the genetics of the organisms that are residing in their intestinal ecology. The GI map test is a molecular test in that it looks for the DNA or the genes of the specific organisms that we're concerned about. And we look uh, for the DNA with specific probes of a whole list of pathogenic um, organisms, including bacteria, viruses, protozoa. Um, but we also look at commensal organisms, meaning the beneficial organisms. And we look at opportunistic organisms, the ones that are not overt pathogens, but they're not necessarily overt beneficial organisms. But if they're given the opportunity to overgrow, which happens in many people, they can create problems, including this higher incidence of autoimmune disease and so forth. So we're looking for the specific genetic markers or signatures based on the genomes of these organisms. So it's not a SNP test or a gene test in like where people may be used to looking at the genes of the subject or the patient. We're actually looking at the genetics of the organisms that are residing in their intestinal ecology. The GI MAP test is a quantitative PCR or qPCR, sometimes called real-time PCR test, which really uh, differentiates it from some of the, uh, for instance, direct-to-consumer direct to stool tests out there, uh, which are next-gen sequencing tests. They're, all, they're also looking at uh, genes or DNA, but they're doing it in a different way that actually doesn't quantitate the level of uh, DNA that is found. They're reported more in a, in a percentage of the total DNA. It's a little bit, um, gets a little bit deep in the weeds, but it doesn't tell you how much. It just, just tells you how much of a certain organism is there in relation to the other organisms. Um, our test goes beyond that and actually measures the amount of DNA catch. So we have certain cutoff thresholds, which if it passes a certain threshold, that is an indication for clinical treatment. And that's exceedingly important for a diagnostic test meant for clinicians to use to make decisions on patients.